possibly the best looking game on console ever. Let's talk about it. Brass tags. What's going on people? I hope you're well. It's your boy, Brass Tags in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Sorry guys, I'm a little chilled out today. I don't even know what to say. Your boy got some. That's what I'm gonna say. Fellas, you know, when you get some, you happy as hell. That's how your boy feel. Your boy feel like he can walk on war in this bitch. Sorry, I just implied that me getting some is a big deal. No, it ain't. It might be. Let's just leave that there. Guerrilla Games made this. Been a huge fan of the Killzone series. I like the last one. I'm gonna keep it real. I like the last one. Graphically, it was great. They really know how to handle the potential of the PlayStation 4. The power. Boy, they did not disappoint with this one either. God damn! Now, before I go into my review, I will say this. I am about halfway through this game, but I've already made my mind up about the game. I made my mind up about the game about a third into that bitch. I am playing this on the PlayStation Pro. HDR enabled, and I'm playing it on the 4K setting. I'm not even exaggerating. This is the best looking game I've seen. A lot of people have argued that perhaps it's the best looking game, period. That's the first thing you're going to notice. Gorgeous, gorgeous game. I played Uncharted 4, thought that was a gorgeous game. This blows it out of the water. Fantastic. Now, this is set in a post-apocalyptic world. You play a young girl called Aloy, and subsequently she grows up to be an amazing hunter. Well, that's totally dependent on how good your skills are in hunting in this bitch. It's a very tribal affair. Humans are, are kind of split into tribes, and you have been estranged from a tribe you're an outcast along with your guardian yeah so in that respect that's a that's a very intriguing aspect of this game machines are just ruling the earth let's just keep it real they're running shit right here so what you what the object of the game really is there it's it's very heavy on story it's story driven you're trying to find out about your past but at the same time with your hunter skills uh you are scavenging for parts to get you from point A to point B as well. And also, you're hunting these machine dinosaurs in this bitch. How much fun is that? You, you got a bow and arrow. Now, a lot of people are going to say, what the fuck is that? But let me tell you something. I have never played a game where hunting is so damn satisfying. When you kill one of these mofos with a bow and arrow, you feel amazing in this bitch. I'll tell you something else. The, the machines are split up into different, you know, they're like dinosaurs. You know, you got the raptor types, which do this. You got the... T-Rexes that do that. There's different weaknesses on all of them. There's different characteristics of all of them. They all move differently. They all can be killed differently. I love that shit too. There is a lot of uh, traveling involved. It takes quite a while to get from point A to point B, but the good news is, is that in between those points, there's just so much shit to do. There is so much stuff to do, people. There's a lot of side missions. Now, granted, some of the side missions can become a little bit samey-samey. It will keep you occupied nonetheless. The story is so damn intriguing. You're very invested in the characters. You do want to find out what happens next. You're going to find yourself thinking, hmm, shall I look around, get some more shit, unlock some more stuff, or shall I just carry on with the story because it's that intriguing, people? The crafting is also A1 in this bitch. You have to collect specific parts. You know, think Far Cry. I love Far Cry 3. I really liked... Far Cry 4. I played a little bit of Primal. It's just sitting there though. I need to get back to that shit. I didn't like the skill tree too much, but when you get going, you get going. This game also gives you choices. You can go stealth or balls deep in your attack in this bitch. You can do things in so many different ways. When you're looking at the big machines, it's intimidating as hell because you're hiding and then you've got this visor uh, uh, that kind of tells you their movements and stuff but it's just it, you hoping i was paying i wouldn't get spotted in this bitch your boy got spotted in this bitch he got fucked up i'm gonna keep it real with you what i also like about it everything just works especially with the skill tree you can choose to adopt how what skills you want to use for what adversary it's very pick up and play it's not that hard you see when i saw this initially when i saw the trailers leading up to this game i was expecting it to be eye candy and not much more i didn't expect this game to have as much depth as it does from the story to the crafting, to the combat, there is a ton of depth here. It's just an A1 game, people. I could go on and on about it, but there is a few things I want to talk about, but I know it's going to spoil the story, and it's going to be a disservice to you if you haven't played it yet, or you don't know what's going on. I may do a spoiler one in a few weeks. Let's wait and see. This is an awesome, awesome game. From the visual fidelity of it to the story, it's just going to keep you engaged. If I didn't have other things going on with me, you wouldn't even heard from your boy point blank, point blank period. Your boy be playing that shit 24-7 in this bitch. It's a 9.5 because it's not perfect, but it's fucking close.
that's all I got to say about that. Hope you enjoyed uh, my review of it so far. I'm kind of like halfway through and I'm so intrigued to see what happens next. I love this game. This game's amazing. Pick it up, guys. What are you waiting for? Don't even be on defense with this. You're going to love it. And if you've got a PlayStation Pro, 4K TV, God damn, this game is beautiful. But it's gorgeous on the PlayStation 4. The standard PlayStation 4 as well, without a shadow of a doubt. It's a beautiful looking game, people. It's taken all the best bits that you love from other games and it's put it into one. It, it's a great game. Pick it up. Just pick it up. That's pretty much it, people. Hope you liked the review. Uh, definitely hit the like button if you did. If you agree, if you disagree, tell me why. Leave comments. Definitely leave comments. I love the comments. Uh, and I will uh, catch up with you guys soon. You guys take care.